Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. Um, yeah, we haven't seen one of these in a very long time. But anyways, I wanted to show this because I found it on Reddit. Um, yeah, I'm a Redditor. You know, when does the Norwell bacon? Midnight. Anyways, I digress. Um, so I found this on Reddit. Um, I will put the link to this, um, Reddit thingy, bobber in the description below. But anyways, let's get started. So today we're doing a TNT cannon. Now you'll be wondering, Kevin, well, if you've been subscribed to me long enough or if you've watched the videos, You've already made a TNT cannon. Well, this is different. It's a scattered TNT cannon, meaning the TNT will go everywhere. But I won't show you this now. You have to wait till the end of the video because I want to explain a little bit of what you use. So today we'll be using a redstone comparator. And here we have a nice little setup here explaining how the redstone comparator works. So the redstone comparator was recently introduced at 1.5. Um, yeah, it's just a little item. Redstone. Yeah. Yep. Okay, anyways. So... What a comparator does is it does exactly as the name implies and compares two redstone signals. So what you do is you have redstone signals here. Now please remember that, uh, please note that the lower the redstone number is, the higher the power. So one is definitely higher than a five because it's closer to the redstone comparator. So here's um, redstone power of one, two, three, four, five, and over here, two, three, four, five, six. Because I didn't want to put a one because it would interfere with this redstone here. But anyways, so. Yeah, let's get started. Um, yeah, so Redstone Comparator, what it does is it checks the input, the strength of the power from this side right here. So let's say we were to do a 2, and then it compares it to the one over here. If the one over here is stronger, meaning the number is lower, it'll cancel out the signal. And if it's equal, it won't bother, it won't, um, you know, uh, cancel out the signal or, or anything. It'll just leave it as usual. And if it's above it, if this number right here on side B is above the number on side A, the redstone signal continues on as usual, and this doesn't affect it at all. So, 2 is equal to 2, so nothing happens. 3 is greater than 2, nothing happens. You know, 5, nothing happens. But, if we change this to, like, 4, let's try 4. 4 is the same number, so it doesn't affect us at all. And 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's how you tell. 5 is also a bigger number, it won't affect that at all. And see, so is 6. But, if we were to do 3, oh, it turned off. How did it happen? It's because 4 is less than, is greater than 3. But remember, the lower the number, the stronger the power. And since 3 is stronger in power, it turns off the signal. And now let's go on ahead with the next thing. Oh, let's just do all of them. 5, 6 won't do anything. Neither will 5, but 4 will. Anyway, so next thing you have in Redstone Comparator is it has a subtraction type of item thing mode. So you right click it and you see this redstone to torch appears and it kind of turns on. So what it does now is it takes the number from side, I believe, let me think this through. I think it takes the number from side A and subtracts it from side B and inputs that amount of signal. You'll see it in a little bit. So let's say we do number 4 and let's subtract 2 from it. Yeah, I was right. So it takes 4 and it subtracts 2. So remember it takes side A um, subtracted from side B. Or as some people may say, side B minus side A equals output. So the output is 4 minus 2, which is 2, so it only outputs 2 redstone signals. Now if I were to do 6 minus 3, well, what can you guys guess? Come on guys, this is like really hard math. I'm sure some of you guys can get it. 6 minus 3 equals 3. See? 3. 1, 2, 3. So you can do whatever you want with this. Um, let's say 6 and subtract a 2, you get 4. Not two. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, that's 5 minus 2, I was thinking. 5 minus 2 equals 3. If I do 6 minus 2, you get 4. So remember, it's always side B minus side A. So, inside um, A, meaning the one behind the redstone comparator, inside B, meaning the one from the side. Okay, so that's one thing. Now, if I were to, uh, let's see. Yeah, so I guess that's about it. So subtraction. Now, this subtraction type of mode is what's used in this TNT cannon. So let's fly over here, and you can see it looks like this. And yeah, I'm just going to um, go somewhere safe and build this. Yeah. So it's in the same spot. So I'll be right back, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome back. So, yeah, we're kind of far away from the area with all the important stuff. But, yeah. So in order to build this, you're going to build four, uh, you need four piss, um, dispensers and assemble like this. Put water in the center so that when the TNT goes in, it won't get rid of the water. We'll place the TNT later. But anyway, so what you can do is you're going to place this compared to here. Put it in subtraction mode. And just line the redstone like this. Make sure it comes back into the repeater. And just kind of... Like, uh, relying it, kind of move this around here. Like so, so it attaches to all these pistons. Hopefully you don't hear the sound in the background. Um, yeah, sorry for that. Let me see. Yeah, that's kind of loud. Anyway, so, 
What this is here is that you just shift click so you can put the redstone on top of it. Just shift and then click and there it goes. So now what you're going to do is let's do time set day now real quick. Time set day. There we go. So what happens here is subtraction mode, right? So if I were to put a, let's get a lever actually. Do I have one in my inventory? No, I don't. Lever. So if I were to turn this on, it'd be a redstone power of one, like I said before. So one, and it comes around and back right here. So this redstone power would be, let me, let me do some mathematician skills here. So let's see, this is one, two, three, right here, back here, right? So what it does is if you come back around, this is power one, power two, power three. So when the redstone goes through this, uh, goes through back into this comparator, it'll be at power three. So let's see, three minus one equals two. Because remember, this is side B, this is side A coming into put. So three minus one equals two. So that means that this only inputs a power of two now. But when it inputs a power of two, it goes into here, but it doesn't come back. So it can't come back into the comparator because only power of two. So it'll go up to one, two, and it can come back around. So that means that it turns off the subtraction ability and it turns it back on again and it goes in a cycle. Hopefully you guys can understand that. Anyway, so let me just run some redstone around here just to make it look cooler. You know, everyone likes cool stuff like this. It looks prettier and stuff. Anyways, so now it looks like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to place your TNT inside the thingy bobbers. Yes, inside the thingy bobbers. That's what these are called. The dispenser are called thingy my bobbers anyway so now if you activate this ooh, hmm that's interesting let's see oh it's a dropper well that explains it <laughs> sorry for that mistake right there let's grab a dispenser this time the dropper what it does nowadays is that a disp ah, dropper only drops items so let's replace these real quick like a ninja like there we go sorry for that um yeah i did not think that there we go dispensers are now called thingy mill bobbers. Now dispensers in the 1.5 update can now um, dispense a um, activated TNT. So in order to drop regular TNT, you're gonna have to use a dropper. So let's activate this. Oh, wow. I'm making new mistakes left and right. You gotta power these. Now if I activate this, ooh, so much TNT. And let's look at it. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that didn't work the way I thought it would. Let's put in more TNT. Um, let's see, what's the ID for TNT? 46? Give luckily 4664. Let's give this a few times. There we go. So, let's try that again. Uh, yeah. There we go. And stuff like this. Uh, I might, let's see. Did I film all yet? I think I did. So now let's try this again. Hopefully it works this time. Let's see. So you can see it kind of flashes, um, on and off a lot. Yes, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Oh no, TNT coming back down. So as you can see, it kind of scatters it everywhere. It just keeps firing the TNT over and over. You can turn it off whenever you want. Is it done? Cool, huh? So if you can power this with whatever you want, you can use a redstone torch if you want to. Um, let's wait for it. Okay. Oh, sometimes it doesn't scatter, but let's try redstone block this time, which emits power in the 1.5 update. Hopefully this time it works. Nope, looks like it's still not gonna work. But anyway, so let me just explain this one last time. Um, what happens is you're powering through here, meaning a signal of one. So it goes through here, it comes around at power of three, because one, two, three. When it comes back into power of three, this um, what, three minus one equals two, so it only comes back again, but this time it isn't able to return back to the comparator. So it disables the sub subtraction property because it's not able to, because there's nothing, no output input from side B. And yeah, that just makes it flicker on and off. Yeah, that's how it works, guys. I'm not going to put a save um, file in um, the description description below for this one because it's relatively simple. You just got to wire it all up. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hopefully, this will be this was kind of more of a filler because I am running. I have not been able to find any time for the past week, actually, to actually record much. So I'm sorry for that, guys. But remember, I'll be recording back from this map soon. But remember, please re um, tell me a genre you would like to see the map in. Anyways, guys, so yeah, that was a redstone tutorial, how to make a scatter TNT cannon. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. All likes, fair, uh, all likes favorites, and shares are appreciated. This was Luckily HD, and thanks so much for watching. See you guys later.